Good afternoon, everyone. How are you doing? It's Eileen here. It's uh, another Tuesday Facebook Live. There is so much going on. I My list is two pages today. I usually have one. So um, I'm going to wait until a couple people come on. Hey, Charlotta. There she is. The queen. The queen of the club. <laughs> And um, who else? There's Pauline. Hello. I was just in the fan club and I saw this amazing pulled down uh, waterfall with pages that Helly did. I have got to go back there and look. Hi, Marty. So uh, there's just so much going on. So I think I'm just going to start announcing. And then if you don't catch it all, you can go back and, and watch because I do have some stuff I want to do too. Um, today is just a work session because uh, some of you know I went to con uh, Creativation last week, which is our craft and hobby um, trade show. And there's just, for not doing anything, a lot of stuff came out of it. So I am um, working on a couple projects with a couple companies, very exciting. And uh, so I didn't have a lot of time to prepare today, but then I thought, you know, I'm just gonna get all my materials out and I'm just gonna do some work and I'm gonna watch and see what you guys say. And together we're gonna put together some of our little um, insert book that we started the last time, or I don't know when it was, Thursday. <laughs> I can't even keep track of the days. But um, we're gonna add some things to it and if that's okay with you guys, that's what I'm gonna do today. And I'm gonna open a very interesting package that I got from Sizzix. And I wanted to tell you about an exciting event tomorrow. I was talking to this friend of mine. Yesterday we went to, it was kind of a fiasco. There were four of us. We all got together. We're friends from the Army, military spouses. And we go to this place up in Hagerstown, which is a pretty good drive. Maybe, I don't know, 50, 70 miles? I don't know. We talk the whole time, so who knows how far it is. Anyway, we um, we went there yesterday, and we were supposed to go to this ribbon store, and I was driving, so I should have been in charge to know when the ribbon store is open. However, we got there, and it was closed. Very sad. So I felt really bad. But anyway, I was talking with this friend of mine. This was a couple weeks ago. And I said, you know, we should just do a project together for fun. So my friend, Paula Ann Mancini, she is like Martha Stewart. She is anything. She does home repairs. She does parties. She she cooks. She She's just like all around Martha Stewart. Anyway, she is going to join me tomorrow. And we are going to make a craft along together. And we would love to have you come with us. It's going to be at noon tomorrow. And I'll tell you what you need. You need to bring a glass jar or can, okay? And have your craft supplies. You are going to have so much fun, all right? So uh, I hope you come along tomorrow at noon. And we will do our craft along. Um, let's see. The... Next thing is, uh, oh, chapter two is coming out like next week. I am going to order the dies. And if anybody is interested, I think what I'm going to do this time is I'm going to do a bundle and I'm going to put it on Etsy. So if anybody is interested in getting, it's the trailer. Oh, there's Helly. Oh, hey, we, I have to go watch your video, Helly. I can't see comments again. Wait, let me turn my thing on here. Uh, I don't know why. I don't know what's going on. I can't do it. But um, I can't see around my thing here. Uh, what was I saying? Ah! Shoot! Oh, pre-order chapter two. If anybody is interested in getting the bundle, which is the little trailer, that's a scoreboards die, that's a large, and then there are, is the waterfall and tags, which we're going to maybe take a look at today, but I'm probably going to wait on that until we get that officially out. And then the other one is the binding. So I'm going to put together a deal on the package of that. And then let me know if you let want it, let me know in the comments. I'll put it in the fan club later, just so you know what, what the deal is. But 
Um, we should be one of the first ones to get it. They, they do try to do that for me. So if you're interested, let me know, and then I'll know how many to order, okay? I can always get them again, but oh, okay, now I can see you. Okay, is there a question? Everybody's saying hi. What is chapter two? Yeah, the binding. I know, that will be, that will be easier. Well, it's just an alternate way, because you still have the, you know, you can still string it, but you have an option of other ways to bind it. So, uh, let's see. Oh, our, our video from Michael's went up last night. So if anybody missed the video um, where we made this little leather pouch and you want to watch, um, I put a link up in the group and you can do that. I wanted to show you inside is a couple little surprises. Guess what fits in there? You know, the little tiny book sample that I made fits in the pouch. Isn't that cute? And wait until you see this one. micro book. How about that? Look at what it looks like compared to that. Guess how I made this? This is the flap from the journal cut out of a, a scrap of leather. And then I used like little tiny pages in here that are like, I think that's typewriter paper. It's really feels nice. So you can fit lots of stuff in here. So if you haven't seen the video, go ahead over if you want. Um, you know what? They didn't enable comments. So you just go over and if you could give it a like, that would be great. Then they maybe will ask me back to Michael's and I would like that. Okay? So there, that's the um, project that we did over on Michael's page. So go ahead and take a look. Uh, we have a release party coming up for Chapter 2. That's going to be on Friday... April 1st, and then I have a couple appearances and, and sh things that I'm going to do, but I'm going to write that down because it's just too much to talk about. Uh, what else? Oh, tomorrow we're going to have the uh, Create and Craft will be up. Our friend Ann Mel Melvin is doing, um, it's a journaling and embossing theme. So they're going to be, she's going to be using the wrap journal and pocket notebook. So those are on the show tomorrow at, and you're not going to believe how long it took me to figure out the times, and I could be wrong, but I think it's 9.45 and 15.45, which I think is 3.45 UK time, and I think, somebody correct me, <laughs> I'm sure you know better, I think that is, oh shoot, I said 11.45, but I don't think that's right. I think it's 1.45. Oh my God, I can't I just have a problem. Is that 1.45? <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll figure it out. I'll go online and get the time zone changer. Oh, that's so frustrating. I just have a block. I can't figure, I, I know that they're ahead of us, but when I get there in my head, I, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> not a good mathematician. All right. The next thing I'm going to do. Oh, here's one thing. This is so lame. But yesterday when I was shopping, I when I do a video, I have a book like this. And I really like it because it's this is lists of all the stuff that I have to talk about on Facebook Lives. And I was running out. So I found another one. And I was, I loved it. I was so happy. But the colors were like, ugh. So I just went in my scraps and I just cut scraps and covered it and I like it so much better. And I started the day making something, which is not much, but it sure felt good to do that. So anyway, just wanted to show you. Now I'm opening my box. Hey, Karen Rogers, how was your surgery? I hope it was okay. All right, I can't see the comments. UK is currently four hours ahead. Okay, I know that, but I just... I don't know what's wrong with me. I really think there's a part of my brain that's just missing. I can't understand. And I also cannot watch time travel movies. I just don't get it. Ugh, so annoying. And my kids laugh at me. My husband. All right. I'm opening the box. But I can do other things. <laughs> it is irritating. Okay. So they sent me some stuff. This is the new line. It's called the effects line. And 
oh, we're going to be using this. Okay, first of all, metallic flakes. What do you think of them? Sizzix metallic flakes. I know I should do this. I'm going to set it down on the table and we'll look at it again when the uh, we turn around the camera. Okay, this is 3D adhesive. I think this is what we have to use to stick the flakes on. Okay, that's nice and heavy. The flakes are really light. Okay, I'm excited about this. Luster wax. What do you think of that? Isn't that pretty? That's like uh, copper, I think. Let me see. I don't see a color on there, but it looks coppery to me. There's three, four names of it in different languages, but I think that's what it looks like. And then there is gold also. All of these. Uh, I was embossing some leather, and I was saying the other day, oh, I just wish I had some wax. I would put that on there. So silver, and this must be a different... Oh, they look the same. I don't know. What do you think? Same? Okay, we have two. And another gold. But gold is good. You can always use that. Okay. Now these. All right. You ready? Look at that. Do you recognize that pattern? It's our silver. Mon or it's our mandala. Mandala. And this is the Sizzix FX Silver metal i think that's oh foil this is the foil what do you think of that beautiful oh yeah this is a pretty package okay so i got two of that i've got oh okay this is different stuff hang on okay this is the rose gold wow that's gonna be really pretty and regular gold okay so we've got foil, and this is what I'm excited about. Aluminum metal sheets. Think of the fun we're going to have with that. I think I'm going to order some. And this is silver. Isn't that pretty? Okay, well, it's coming, guys. All right, we'll look at it again when I turn the camera down so you can see what it says, because I know it's backwards. Okay. What else do I have to show you? I think that might be it. So I think I'm going to turn the camera down. <laughs> you can see my big messy table that has a ton of stuff on it because I'm just going to kind of assemble my materials and I'll show you how I lay my table out when I get going on junk journaling. It kind of, you, it's all spread out and it takes up a lot of space. So I wish that I had a place where I could just leave it and go do it when I want, but I don't. So I have to keep cleaning it up. So I've tried to kind of organize it a little bit and we can walk through and I'll show you how I do it. Not that that's great, but okay. Let's uh, turn the camera down. Oop, I just stepped on some bubble wrap. <laughs> okay. Here we go. All right. Can you guys see okay? Let's see. Yeah, it's well let me let me get on my camera here and see what what you guys can see. Uh kinda. You okay. Let's oh see. Forgot my mute. Okay. Yeah, that's a mess. That's pretty much what it looks like. Okay, so here is that aluminum metal sheets. Let's just take a look at that. Ooh, it feels nice. It's a nice package. Ooh, yeah. Wow. They really do hold the shape. I've seen some samples. So that is going to be fun to play with that. It's more like sh metal paper. That's what it feels like. I'm trying to see what it says. Aluminum metal sheets. Okay, rose gold and, and then silver. I think this comes in a couple other colors too. All right, and then here's that foil. Very pretty. Okay. And then here is uh, the wax. Oh, I'm excited about that. Maybe we could even use it today. We'll see. 
And you know, this would be the perfect time to use this for eggs, wouldn't it? Paint on a little bit. I wonder if we should do that on the front. A little bunny journal. We could test it out. Maybe do it in the center of the flower. Let's do that. All right, let's do that right now. Just kind of a little... I'm not sure how to use this exactly, but that doesn't always stop me <laughs> from trying it. Oh, look at that nice little... Oh, yeah, it's a little goopy. All right, well, let's just touch some on there. Maybe we should do a little over here. And maybe in that, middle of that. Oops, where else do you think? Butterfly wings, a little bit. All right, this, I mean, I really should read the instructions, but I just kind of want to play a little bit. Just a tease. Because we'll do something with it. And I think for this, it, they kind of float around, so I think we need a mat to put under this because I don't want to lose them. You can reuse them again. So we'll just. Oh, that's good. That's contained. Oh, look at that. All right, well, I don't know. Let's. Now my hand has glue on it, and I have to remember where I put the uh, foil, or the glue. Ooh, that's fun. And then I think you kind of rub it off with a cloth. That just adds a nice little glitz, doesn't it? What do you guys think about this? Should I get some? I can put it in the Etsy store. We can play with it. I like kind of patchy. I think you take a brush. Let's see if I have a nice. Yeah. So it just sticks to where it is. I did watch a video on this, but it, not recently. But what's nice is, you know, you still have some of the pattern showing through. That's cool, but I think that would be neat on some eggs, don't you? And look at, I mean, there's tons left. Well, it's not sticking there, so I guess I didn't. All right. Well, what do you think? You like this stuff? Eileen, read comments. Uh-oh. Use a dry brush to get excess off. You saw a video where they did it in a tray. That would have been a good idea. But, that you know, it's really not as messy as I thought. Because it looked like it's so light, you would think it'd be flying all over the place. But it didn't. So that's a yes, I would say. All right, there's Dana. So the flakes stay contained. Yes, why does it have to dry first? It didn't really dry very long at all. It just, I put it on and, and put this on and, you know, there it was. So if you wanted just a little hint, you know, it's definitely not a foil, like shiny. You know, it's kind of, I mean, it's shiny, but it's not... Uh, it's patchy. I like how that looks. It's more vintagey, if you ask me. Anyway, all right, let me um, put this back a little bit. Okay, so what do you think? You like it? I like it. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get going on our thing. I think what I'll do is just show you some of the supplies that I have, and then we'll just do a couple things. There is a pocket that I... I love, I just found this on online somewhere and uh, I, I couldn't find it again so I kind of figured it out by myself but um, let me just show you first, I'll review what we're gonna do. This is a pocket, ooh, ooh now see, <laughs> I'm shiny. Um, this is like our journal, where'd our journal go? So this would fit inside our little book and we put these together using uh, 12 by 12 paper. We chopped them down and trimmed them and made pockets out of them. That was last Thursday. So let's take this out and we'll just put this in. What I do is I go to the middle of it. 
Sorry, I'm in a kind of weird mood today. I just can't get myself in one... I keep jumping from thing to thing, and it's just... It's distracting, so sorry about that. Now, if I'm going to work on it, I would do it outside the book because it's not quite flat. You know, it's a little bumpy here, so if I was going to add something to it, I would want it flat. So what we have in this little folder is on the front we've got a little tuck. So it's fun. It's nice to have stuff to put inside. We just can kind of constructed it the last time. And then we've got pockets inside. One of them I did wrong. That was this one. I punched the hole here, but it didn't go. So I was going to cover that with like a little something. And then this one, you know, that opens here. So we're alternating pockets. So my thought was to make some little tags and things to go inside. This one kind of got off kilter a little, but I like that too. You know, that's just different. So you can orient these however you want. You can make them the same size, or you can make them, you know, butt up to different size ones. You can do the short ones, two short ones together, two long ones together, or a short and a long. So, basically, that is what we are... Oh, no, look at that. Ah, this is too tight. So, that's a good lesson. Don't pull it out like that. I can just fix this with some washi tape, so... I'm not going to worry about it. That's like the least annoying thing that's happened today. <laughs> oh, maybe this one. Some of my washi tape has been getting dry. You know, dried out. Uh-oh, this doesn't look right here. How did that happen? See, I told you it was a weird day. How's that? If you let it dry first, you can buff it with a scrubby. Ooh, that will be good. All right. I'm just going to patch this while I'm thinking about it and run a little line up of washi tape up the center here to kind of reinforce where I just tore it. <laughs> so, not a big deal. And you can trim it or you can, you know, really probably just go like this. Yep. Maybe trim this one. So a lot of it is uh, reacting to disasters as usual. And maybe, I don't know, I guess I don't need to do it on the other side. That seems all right. It's gonna stay in there, so that's one. This one I think I did right. So of course I picked the messed up one. <laughs> that's okay, because then, you know, you learn or you see what, how to fix it. Okay, so let's work in this other one. So some of the things that I have on hand are just some little scraps of lace and trim and yarn, twine, whatever you call this stuff. Um, I, I like to have that because it just breaks up all the paper. Um, thank you, Karen Bierce. Okay, what is she using the new booklet dye? Okay, yeah, that's the, the folio journal. That's the new one. All right, these are the dies that I'm using to make little flowers and things. So if we need to cut some of them, we can use these dies. I kept them here just to have them on hand because I didn't want to have to get up. And um, this is from another uh, die. This is called the uh, bookmark, uh, bookmark page and pocket, I think. So this goes with where's there? this little pocket here. So this is the pocket piece, and then there's a die that goes inside that fits in there. So these are kind of cute for this size. I think they're just a nice little thing that you could add to your front. And then if you just glued it right at the bottom here, you could also stick something in there. This is all about layering. I mean, to me, this is, and I'm not especially good at it, but I, I'm trying to be, so I am keep on trying. And... I feel better if I've sat there for a while and I kind of get into a rhythm. Um, but I have been saving all of my little pieces that I've cut that I haven't used on other, you know, projects. Like this is one that I cut out. This is one of the mandalas that I cut out of vellum. And I used one for a pocket like that. Well, I want to. That was one of the things I was going to do to put in the book. And then I had this piece left, so I thought that would be nice on a corner here, or, you know, like this. 
So really, I just want to get some backgrounds done in my folio insert books. I also have some other dies that could work. Um, I don't know. I was kind of thinking to put it as a spin and then change the tabs or something, you know, uh, just a thought on that one. Who knows if I'll get to it. These are some scoreboard tabs that came on the journal die. So, you know, this could be used to somewhere. Um, anyway, I just put a whole bunch of things that I had cut out that were small in this little bowl so I can find them. I can just kind of pick through. Here was another kind of fun thing. I was watching another video. You know, when I work at night, I, I just put on videos and I watch them. And this was an idea for, like, if I wanted to put this little pocket on something and clip it, I could just, you know, glue this onto the back. Or maybe, yeah, I would probably round this. But it's all about playing with your scraps and just taking out things and seeing if they work and, you know, Taking the time to just relax and get yourself in a kind of experimental place. So you would adhere that to the back of your pocket and then just, you know, stick that on. And then you can move it if you wanted. So if you wanted to move this little clip, you know, you just take it off. In the meantime, it looks like it's just hanging out there. So I think that's adorable. So you, what I did was I made up a bunch of them, well, not too many, but some, and I like these little ones because they can kind of fit better. Oh, thank you, Glum. Yes, that's the one. Hey, Carol, not the hinge one, the other one. Oh, I missed it. Well, anyway, I, I made some of them, I mean, it's just a little scrap of paper and a paper clip, but I had some ready in case it came up that I found someplace I wanted to use it. I had some extra book paper. I cut these out. I really like this shape. This die is now out of stock. But here's where I keep my other ones in case I want to cut out something. Normally, I keep these stored in a little pouch like uh, one of these little paper. Uh-oh. I'm running over bubble wrap. I'm like, what the heck was that? You know, one of these little like notebook binder things where you can put it into a binder. I usually try to keep the dies that go together in there so I know where they are. These are the new ones that are coming out, the chapter two. These are so much fun, but we'll wait on these. And we have an, a fun, a, a really cool surprise. If I can pull this off for our release party on April 1st, and this is not an April Fool's joke. Although it is if I can't do it, <laughs> then it will be a joke. All right. So then again, we have our little pocket here. Show us now. <laughs> well, you just saw them, Glum. All right. The other thing that I did was I was over at uh, Michael's the other day, and they had these little bottles. And I don't know about you. I like this three-in-one glue. I like Fabri-Tac. I like Zip Dry. But sometimes it's hard to get it out, and I thought this little nozzle here might be kind of handy. So I poured my three-in-one glue in here, and I just tried it, and it's it works. I mean, it's going to collect here, but that's okay. Oh, show us immediately. What do you want to see? You want to see those dyes? Haven't you seen them yet? They've been online. If that's that, if that's what you want to see, I'll show you. All right. You recently purchased that thinlet's die. That's good, Judy. Because these are really, <laughs> these are really good um, for using inside the journal. Okay. So we have a set of tags. And I've been kind of playing with using them with these little slots because that one looks off track here. But what you can do is tape these little pieces here, use your low-tack masking tape, and, you know, they nest like this. So they each have a little thing that you can make a pocket. Because what I was thinking was, it would be cool, and I'm only going to tell you guys because you came to the live. <laughs> um, you know, if you cut two of the tags, not with that, but... Cut one tag, put it on the back, or even fold it and cut, you know, two pieces of paper folded, 
leave your thing. <laughs> I cannot talk today. Put together the fold inside the score and then add this little piece and then you could just make a fun little pocket and have it either fold out or tuck things inside. So that was my thought on that. And then this goes with the waterfall. This is a waterfall and we'll be doing more of that. These are like little things that you put here, you know. So there's two different sizes of that. And that's that one. And then this is the binding page and like a little decorative element, but we're going to we're going to do this later cuz it just takes too long to explain it, but it's going to be fun. It's going to give you another option for playing in your journals, okay? All right. Yes, everybody's wondering. I had the sales a, a girl, Taylor, from um, Sizzix say, what are those things for? <laughs> I was like, is my mind that weird? I don't know. I thought that was normal. All right, I'm going to add this on here because I like the, you know, I like that this is vellum and you can see through, but if we did it on something too light, you wouldn't see it. So I like it on this, and it's the cover too. So... This is going to be a pain, but let's see how the three-in-one works here. I could use my art journal glue, the art glitter, but I I don't know. It kept seizing up on me and getting uh, clogged up, so I just thought, you know, I'm going to use another glue. Plus, I love this stuff. Okay, so at the, what the reason I like this is if I put this down here and there's some that bubbles up, I can rub that off when it dries and see that has a little bit, but I think that's going to, I don't even mind that because that's like adds more dimension. That's pretty and it's sticking down pretty well. I didn't put much out here, so I might have to go back and do that, but that's all right. Then I think maybe I'll put this inside. So it's all just like a process of what goes where? And normally what I do is I will lay out each page and say, okay, what am I going to put in here? Maybe I can stick that in a pocket. Um, oh, and then the other thing I didn't show you is this is a box that I made out of the gift box. And that was a Facebook Live that we did. And this was a nice way to store my things, my little scraps. I love this. So I folded up, these are some little accordion pages that went in some kits that I had for the tiny book that I wasn't using, so I took them. You currently have three-in-one all over your shirt. <laughs> I don't know how it comes off. Hey, Maz. Hey, Mitziana. All right, so then here are some more. These are just scraps that I had that I cut out that, that I thought the colors went well, so I'm going to try and add them into the book. Here's a little pocket that I made, you know. So I do in the front here, can you see this? I have all of my little strips and teeny tiny little pieces like, what else is down here? Little flowers or tiny scraps of music paper. So I know those are going to be in the front. It, it helps when you go to grab things. Then in here I've got... Uh, not too much, but this is, oh, I know there's one thing I want to try. This is like, I thought I could use it for a stencil or I could put that on a page. That would be pretty, you know, just, and then maybe put some paper behind it. So just some ideas. Uh, this one too. Now, when I cut out my, um, little, where did that thing go? I had a, you know, huh, here it is. I cut this out. So I was left with this scrap and it was kind of even and I thought, you know, if I, I could make like a little shaker or like one of those specimen sleeves, I don't know what you call them, but they, you put like a little bug in here. I'm not going to put a bug, but you could, but I was thinking like a little flower, you know, in between squish it and glue these up all around. So just some ideas here. And these were cards that were part of the paper collection that are just beautiful. So I thought, I'm going to use them for sure. So I cut them down and have them ready to go. Look at this cute little one. And the butterflies, I mean, really pretty images. And the bonuses, all of the colors go. 
you know, it's kind of a botanical theme here. And some go sideways and some go um, up and down, which is nice because we have those pockets that are going each way. So look at that. You'll look sweet upon this seat. Oh, so just so cute. So I saved them. Then I, what did I, oh, I guess I already made something here. I was just kind of fiddling around. It was one of those nights where you just are like, I don't know what to do. Uh, let me get some stuff here and just see what I can put together. That was a scrap. So, you know, that I didn't glue that all the way down so I can tuck stuff in here. And sometimes it's kind of a challenge to see how many pockets can I make? You know, how many things can I tuck in this tiny little folder? And that's when it's flowing and it's good, but I don't have it all the time. So I have to conserve. Um, I like using envelopes for my insert books or just to kind of break things up a little bit. So that could work in here somewhere. You know, you could glue the back on, you know, or you could tack just down here or glue and have, you know, all of these things. So you could have more. Oops, I'm going upside down. But see, it doesn't matter. Actually, it does because that's the back. Uh, oh, well, we'll have a pretty back. So you could even stick that back there or you could put your, you know, you really can make anything a portable little piece by adding this to the back. So I think I'm going to go ahead and make some of these so I have them on hand when the feeling strikes. And you can do these either way. You can, this is just an envelope. I trimmed off the two and I sealed it. All right, let's start at the beginning. I love working with envelopes because they're really cool shapes. All right, let me check and see. Folio is large and square shape, but the wrap journal is probably a better size. Yes, okay, you're, you're discussing, that's good. All right, so here's the front of the envelope and I just folded it in half and I trimmed off the sides and then I folded it back up. I took my little punch, made this little notch here because that really does help when you're trying to pull things out otherwise you have to you know go in here and kind of try and open it and it's not always easy depending on the paper that you used so say we wanted to add this on the back here we can just take this little piece clip that there and clip that there and the main objective if you do make these little things um, and then you can cover it. So a lot of people cover the backing because otherwise you could, you don't even need the paper, but if you cover it, then it's all one piece and it, it just looks pretty on the front or back. So uh, anyway, my brain is all over the place. I'm really sorry. <laughs> just not, I don't know what I'm thinking today. Uh, this is a piece that I had left over. So any of your art journaling things that you do or die cuts that you were planning to make into a card and you never did. You know, these can all go in your journals if you can fit them. That's kind of a weird shape there. So save your tags and fold them up, make little pockets. This is a piece of um, craft paper that I, I was embossing and kind of fiddling around with. The thumb notch, yes. Yeah, you know, I can't find my one inch one. That's why I'm using the big one. Now this is the thing, Now, and the other thing you can do, when you cut this, you know, you're gonna have a lot of leftover paper, and that is all back here. So what you can do is just round the corners off and you've got a nice little piece that you can either fold in half or make a tuck or just have it coming out of the top of your, your book. Let's try one here. This is the bad one. I keep going back to the bad one. <laughs> it wasn't a bad day. It just was... See, I messed up that one, too. All right, let's have it coming out of here. Sooner or later, we have to hit it right. Okay, so see how nice that just kind of sticks out a little bit, and you're like, oh, what's that in there? <gasps> it's a picture. Oh, there's a, a little card that has writing on it or a, a photo of something and what I was kind of thinking about doing with this book is making one for my daughter who has the chickens and <laughs> printing off pictures from her site 
and getting pictures of the chickens and putting them in here because it's so pretty. And the colors kind of reminded me of chicks and, you know, spring. And so that, if I get this done, I hope to do this. So I'm going up to my mom's this weekend and hopefully I'll have some time. And, uh, you know, now that's kind of cute there, you think? I like that. Or you could have it pick it, poking out of there. The glue is too far down, though. I think I kind of like that right there because you could stick something in there and then something behind it. So it's all about the finding spots, you know? And a lot of you guys are better than me, and I just think it's fun when I am on a roll. However, today is not the day. But, you know, still you have some ideas that you want to try. But I want to show you this one thing because I got this card from... Well, I think I made a mistake in it. I really liked it. It was from Target, and I liked it because it was like a laser cut. And I thought, I am going to use that for a stencil. So this it this is the um, laser cut. Isn't that pretty? So I thought, yeah, I started to write something, and then I messed it up, and I didn't keep going. So... Even that's pretty, you know, that could go in here. Because look at those colors. It matches. I mean, just chop down a little bit. So don't, I mean, I'm not going to tell you don't throw anything out. But you might be sorry if you do. <laughs> All right, let's get just a piece of maybe this blue here. Or is that too much like, let's do it on a book page. Or music sheet, maybe. Uh... I find a piece of book page? No. Let's just move this out of the way and see what happens. So to do this, I was going to get my nutmeg ink. Let me just move this stuff out of the way a little bit because I don't want to spill it. I'm just going to put that down and I'm going to shake out a little bit. That's what you use as well. Just try not to use the inkjet ones to save the coating. All right, I have to read this. All right, I'm just putting out a little bit of this nutmeg. And thanks to who, the people that are buying this, we are, like, coming to the end of my my inks, which is sad, but another way, it's like, might as well use them. Okay, I'm, I am really liking my makeup brush to very softly stencil. Uh, I like my foam ones, but I don't know. Lately, I'm just really soft. You can really get a nice soft feel out of this, but you have to blend it in. You keep the clear film, red rubber, and acrylic window film. Okay. All right, so all I'm going to do, positivism. Well, that sounds good. That's at the bottom. A theory that... Theology and metaphysics physics are earlier imperfect modes of knowledge. Ah, that's too hard. <laughs> I'm going to make it so this shows through. And let's just see what happens here. For one thing, I'm going to have a brown tree. And just, I like to go in like a circular motion because I think it like distributes the ink nicely. And it hopefully is not going to lift up. And I like also to have some really light and some really dark because, oh, see, yeah, this is pretty, you need to blend out. I wasn't looking. Even a very light uh, impression or coat, whatever, is good. Even a rocking motion. All right, you ready? Look at that. That is cool. So you could do that on a page. Maybe let's do one now that we know it works. I'm, I'm going to cut that out and I'm going to make a pocket out of that. But let's do one actually in here. That might be nice right by the butterflies. What do you think? You think, Helen? I see you on here. <laughs> You're my advisor right now. <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. And what you could do, too, is you could cut away this piece around here. But I think it kind of gives it some strength. And you know what? If this comes off, that's one little leaf nobody's going to know. And we'll just give this... I'm going to load my brush up again just to make sure I have enough 
get the color out there. Do it on plain. You want to do it on plain? I don't have any plain in my book, and I kind of want to do, so I feel like I did something in here. I'll do it on plain after. But see, this is a card that I got. You, you can just... I don't know. You can kind of look at things and say, uh-oh, that's going to work. That's going to work in my book. You know, and just give it a try. I'm going over something here. I don't know what. Yeah, you really have to be careful, though. This is very fine. But luckily, the paper is pretty sturdy, so... And even very lightly, you can still see. It's always so surprising when you lift this up. Now, see, I see that that's kind of chunky up there, so I'm going to try and... Now I'm moving it, so I need to probably be done. All right. Yeah! Oh, and he, I even went over. That doesn't... That's cool. I don't care about that. That's pretty. So I'm not sure how many uses I'll get out of this, but I also have this piece here, which I can trim off and use even right in this project. Gesso a bit lightly. Oh yeah, that'd be pretty. But you know, you can just tear this out and round the corners and we've got another nice little... This I might tone... Uh, I don't know. I think that's pretty close. And the, the ragged edges, that's fine. So, yeah, you could make like a little... Uh, I don't know. I kind of like it as one thing, but it's going to be too big. Well, maybe not. It'd be fun to have that poking out to say thank you. I was also thinking paint chips would be fun. Yeah, look at that. That would work. So, okay, we're, we're coming along. What else are we going to tuck in here? Maybe something little. We can make a little book out of that. Maybe tear this off. Oh, wait a minute. I'm going to try that wax and the tree on here. How about that? All right, let's get our wax out. I'm thinking gold. Turn the top down a little so it will be the right size. Okay. Uh, okay, okay, Linda. Um, shoot, where'd my thing go? Here it is. I mean, just little. I just want to see what happens here. Maybe like that. And... Ooh. I like it on the tree. I don't even know if that's going through. I think I'm going to need, like, a stencil brush. Oh, I happen to have one. Look at that. All right, let's see. Oh, oh yeah. This is going to be amazing. Did I tell you I had a stenciling business when we were in the army? I did custom stencils for people their rooms and then you know when I'm done I can use this as the gold oh I moved it all right that's it but look at that oh yeah oh that's really pretty especially on this textured paper liking that be doing more of that Okay, be still your beating heart. Yeah, the tree is just pretty. So any stencil would work. I mean, if we had the mandala, we could use that. Um, actually, you know what? What if we did... Let's do it in the book. What do you think? I mean, we already have it loaded up. Well, I don't want to repeat it. Maybe I'll do it in the other book. Can you guys see okay? Trying to stay in the frame, but let's just do like. Hmm. I'd rather do it on paper. 
All right, what if we did it here? I don't know if it's going to show up. How about this? See, I want to use it in two ways. I want to use it as gold on here, and I want to get the relief of it somewhere else. So maybe I'll just take any random card and just give it a try here. Let's see. And that really should be stuck down. What I would do is get some spray adhesive and just give it a little tack on the back. But, you know. Wait, I put it away. Why did I do that? This is going to be my best friend. <laughs> pretty sure of that. And I'm loading this up pretty well. You don't need a lot, though. You're And you're tapping a lot of it off, rubbing a lot of it off. All right, let's see how we do here. All right, I need to move that up a little bit so I can get the edges. So the only thing is this is kind of disembodied uh, from its other parts that um, hold it together. So really have to be careful, but I'm loving, I'm loving how this gold doily is coming out. Mandala, mandala, why can I not say anything today? And I think the impression underneath is not going to be anything like spectacular, but I really like the gold on this. So that's worth it. So I like using it in two ways. That's pretty. I don't know if you can see it, but it is shiny. That stuff does last forever. You know, if it gets uh, dried out, you just add a little water, spritz it. I think that is really subtle. And look at this. So now when we go to put that here, oh yeah, that's much better. Because it's, it's nice and shiny. Ooh! All right, maybe I'll sit down tonight and actually do some of this. <laughs> All right, let's see what else I have in here. These are just little scraps um, that I was thinking I would cut. That's like a wood round thing. I don't know why I have that. But this is pretty. And that, I don't know, though. That's pink. But that's not. All right, what should we do next? Uh... And these don't go with that collection, but they're not bad. You know, so use your scraps. These, I I don't ever know what to do with these because they're not double-sided. So you could just back them and make like a little card. You can make a tag out of them. I don't know. Maybe that's all I have in me today. <laughs> I just feel like nothing. I Nothing is going. Nothing's clicking here. But there are days like that. Ooh, this would be pretty too. Oh, maybe that. What do you think? Is that too too much the same? You could do it this way. Oh, I, I cut too much and I had to patch that. <laughs> I, I like that. All right. Let's do that. So let me try... Let me use the Sizzix. This is the Express Glue from Sizzix, so this works too. I just get so used to my um, Art Glitter Glue, but it's kind of running low. I just don't like when you can't see, when you can see behind. Now this one's this clogged up too. All right, where's my die pick? I only have 25,000 of them. Does this happen to you guys? I don't know. Do you feel like just sometimes you can't settle yourself? I think last week was just so busy with that Facebook Live at Michael's and the creativation, my family, I'm going home again. All right. Our glitter glue, where are you? I do like the three in one because it's clearer, but let's see what happens here. I know some people like to put it on their hand like that, and then they tap it, and that works pretty well. And you always have glue on your hand, which is fine. 
these things stick out, so I definitely would make sure to get them. Alright, this one decides it is going to come out. That's good. Alright. Okay. Thank you for hanging with me today, guys. <laughs> it's just a crazy, weird kind of day. But tomorrow is going to be fun. Wait until you see. I mean, not that this isn't fun, because it kind of is. But um, I want you to meet my friend P.A. And see what we're going to make. And I hope you'll make it with us. All right, stick down there. Because I want to make sure that this does stick, because... Especially if it's on the front, it's going to be getting things... Oh, shoot, we were going to have that as a pocket, but you know what? It wouldn't have worked. It's too flimsy, so it's just pretty like that. And then let's just glue this... Let's use this guy in the corner here, because I like that. And that's enough. You can stick stuff on there. fun to get all out all your different glues and, and try things that you haven't used in a while because glue does go bad and you might as well use it if you have it. I do like this stuff. I'm, I'm glad I discovered it again. What supplies go with jar please? Okay Janice, um, you're going to want to have your napkin decoupage stuff. So that means um, I don't have it right here on the desk with me, but wait a minute, maybe I have some. Yeah. This, whatever you use, you're going to want a paintbrush, maybe some tissue paper, maybe some napkins, some lace and trim. Uh, just kind of, you'll have it, you know, you'll have it by your desk. But mainly you're going to need something to work on, which we're going to use the jar or the can. Okay, and it's just a fun little project. You can gear it towards anything that you want, like Easter, spring, Christmas. You can do whatever you like. Okay, it's gonna be fun. I made a couple, and I'm I'm addicted, so that's why we have to do it. And I was thinking maybe once in a while we'll just do a craft that's not with dyes. We'll just go do something different. You know, we don't have to always do that. Okay. All right, if you mean the long box made from the gift box, yes. Um, I can try and find that. Yeah, this is handy. I want to make some more of these because it's really easy to organize stuff in here. Directions how to make the box. Yes, we do. Let me see if I can find it. I like the on-point glue that doesn't clog. Which kind is that? On-point glue. I don't know what that is, Leslie. Yeah, all right. Well, you know, we could just spend our whole lives crafting. <laughs> like, it would be fun. And if you think about it, if you're a creative person, you're still using your creativity no matter what you do. Whether you're going to the post office and you say, what do I need to bring in? Or, you know, I don't know. It, it, it just seems like there is always something you have to think about how to do something and creative thinking certainly is a bonus don't you think so you have to train yourself to think like that all right i don't know i'm gonna play with this some more tonight maybe i will be inspired i hope i don't know sought inspiration and truth those that was lines in a song so see i need that these little fold-out things. I don't really think that goes, but I might just go crazy and put it in there anyway. Oh, butterflies, vines, you know. We are all living creative lives all the time. Yes, I hope so. I think that's going to make us um, <laughs> survivalists <laughs> or, you know, be able to figure things out because... <sighs> I don't know. I just get worried about kids when they can't make change. When you go into a 7-Eleven or whatever and, you know, it's a dollar two and you give them two cents and they're like, uh, I don't know how to fix that. My machine is broken where you're just trying to get them to give you two quarters. <laughs> anyway, 
it's it scares me so i am always asking my grandkids and <laughs> quizzing them because i don't want them to be like that if the world ended you know you're gonna need to know how to do things on your own without machines see how my brain is going today not in a good way but look at that cute little card just made it i always think rounding the corners make things makes it looks nicer Okay, Janice Sigmund. Yes, the dyes are good, Janice. But you know what? The stuff you're doing is really cool. So don't change. Don't go changing to try to please me. <laughs> it's good. So I'm going to make like a little bookmark. And I always use the quarter inch. I don't know why. I don't do the big ones. It's like too much of a commitment. But see how cute? We just folded up a little book page and now we've got... Some little things and we can tuck that in there and you know it's coming along all right I'm feeling better teach them to use paper roadmaps you're not kidding Lisa the register does tell them how to make change but if the register is broken glum they're in deep doo-doo you know they'll be getting fired because they can't figure out how to make change and uh, anyway <laughs> Angela I think you're right the dyes are addictive um, what else do we have? I don't know. This is going to come out in the end. It's all going to be fine. And we did do some work and I showed you my little storage thing. So, you know, every day can't be, can't be amazing. We can try. That's even pretty. I love that gold wax on there. If nothing else, what if you mix the different colors? silver gold copper or rose gold or whatever it is on here and then just put that in here and you could trim these off you know and just do to here i love that i wish i had more of these i have to go look i think i used them all up though i kind of like having this to use as a, a guide so i'm not going to tear that off Okay, they need to learn what north, south, east, and west is. I don't have that either. <laughs> I don't have that skill. When people say, turn east on that road, it's like, I, you need to tell me right or left. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of gaps here, guys. Oh, well. So, that's what's going on today. But, come back tomorrow, okay? 12 o'clock noon. And we are going to make a fun project together. All right? So I'm going to go. My husband's home. And I've been blabbing for way too long. All right. I'm going to see you tomorrow. Okay? And then Thursday, too. So it's like bonus week. <laughs> you may be wishing I wouldn't. <laughs> but, but you might want to make one of these. Because this was really fun. Maybe we'll do one of these again. Because I had an idea for another version of this and I think it would be very cool with working with our journals so all right maybe we'll do that next week okay all right guys thanks for coming we'll see you next time and um keep that crafty brain going because that's gonna get us through and we'll we'll be able to survive over people that don't all right <laughs> ending on a dark note see you later <laughs> bye